They gave him a short speech to read. They allowed no questions afterward. Biden mouthed the words they had written. He blamed Trump voters for everything, all the violence, all the rioting, presumably for all the defaced and destroyed statues, too. They did it. Failure to call on his own supporters to stop acting as an armed militia in this country shows how weak he is. Does anyone believe there'll be less violence in America if Donald Trump is reelected? That's not an observation, obviously. It's a threat. And it wasn't a mistake either. It's not a line he just blurted out. That line was in Biden's prepared remarks. His campaign tweeted it out later. They were proud of it. This is the official message of the Biden campaign. If you dare reelect Donald Trump, prepare for more rioting. Biden can say things like what you just heard without scaring you. That's a rare talent. Biden doesn't seem like an extremist because personally he is not an extremist. Ask anyone who knows Joe Biden. Biden is a corporate lobbyist who represented a tiny state in the Senate for 40 years. Joe Biden doesn't want a revolution. He just wants to live in a big house and have strangers love him. At this point, Biden is too slow to be radical anyway. The people who control Joe Biden understand this perfectly well. Yourself. Do I look like a radical socialist with a soft spot for rioters? Really? But the people behind you are radical as hell. And we are not guessing about that. Biden's running mate, president in waiting Kamala Harris, openly solicited donations for rioters in Minneapolis. Quote, if you're able to, Harris tweeted in June, chip in now to the Minnesota Freedom Fund to help post bail for those protesting on the ground in Minnesota. Amazingly, that tweet is still up. At least 13 members of Joe Biden's staff sent money to the rioters. 